Welcome to Super Snack Sunday with Hannah's, Hannah's Field. Field, where we spread liberty in food, conscious music, and uplift your body, mind, and soul. What are we making today? Today we're going to make some guacamole, one of my favorite snacks. I love it. it's so good. And we're going to serve them with plantain chips. Mm. So let's talk about the ingredients. Right. Avocados, lemons, chili powder, cumin, coriander, salt and pepper, garlic. Guacamole is kind of fun because you can do it to your taste. So it's yeah. like every batch can come out different. But we're going to give you an exact recipe today. Exact. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say exact so, in front of Bongo. Well, no, so look. He's not very much an exact You know, I chef. think I love guacamole and honestly over time, from cooking in different restaurants and stuff like that in areas, I've streamlined my recipe more and more and more. I've had different times where, you know, I put sour cream in the recipe to make it go longer, or some people put mayonnaise in the recipe. I like to keep it as simple as possible. Basically just avocados, a whole bunch of garlic, some lemon, minimal amounts of spices and then salt and pepper and then just mix it up it's usually pretty perfect so especially for cooking you know it's, it's really subject to taste so i'm gonna tell you what i'm making today i got four avocados in here a trick i like to use uh when i'm getting vegetables and working with them actually sometimes even before you marinate uh vegetables especially with like eggplant i like to take a little bit of salt and season them up a little bit. What it does is it helps release the moisture that's in that vegetable and breaks down some of that um, fiber that's holding it so tough. You know, so now you release that and it softens it up. You know that avocados are like a real nutrient dense vegetable. They're actually uh, a super food. I hear that they're a super food. <laughs> so what makes the food super? Well, any food that contains an extremely uh, dense concentration of Vitamins, vital nutrients, and minerals. Yeah, good fats, and you know, usually high in enzymes. So any, any, you know, anything that's got that super fortified amount would be a super food. Super. <laughs> Best place to build yourself, to fortify yourself, and to help create yourself starts in the kitchen you know it really does your biggest power is in making your own food for yourself not only physically you know you get you're eating something now you're putting you know the ingredients you want in there and the amount you want it in there also too energetically now you're cooking for yourself or you're cooking for your loved one you know I try to be like mindful of, of energetic energizing the food when I'm cooking mm -hmm. you know it's something I picked up from cooking in the kitchens all these years I would notice on nights when I'm in a good mood and everything's moving good and everything's flowing, like your garnishes are perfect, every plate, the steaks were cooked at perfect temperature, you know, people are happy, they're carrying you around on their shoulders and glasses of wine. You come in in a bad mood, you're stressed, you're behind the eight ball, and then you start cooking, and you got the floppy garnish, you got the, you know, your sauce fell off to the side and stuff, the waiter dropped your plate. So, I really started realizing then, your mood affects your food. So, cook with the right food. Hope nobody's afraid of garlic. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably, probably good. When I'm sick, I like to take a clove of raw garlic, chop it up, and then you let it oxidize. It, it activates the garlic. And it's a real amazing way to bust out your sinuses to clear out a cold that might be lingering. And now, to keep away the ladies. Now you're adding this extra ingredient of healing into your into your guacamole too though. You know, so now you're eating a concentration of that anti-fungal, antiviral. Yeah, man. But you could do garlic to taste, so if you're not huge into the garlic, you might want to go Cut it in two half cloves. or one clove even fine, no problem. Hey, Hannah. Hey. <laughs> What's your theory on uh, light expansion in the human uh, ethereal plane? Oh, I think it's really vital in these times. Yes. That we grow our light. Well, let's see about that.
home if you are not a professionally trained chef you should definitely use your teaspoons and your tablespoons for measurement since we already salted our avocados we'll hold off on putting salt in until the end in case you need some but you don't want to overdo it so i'm going to put a little bit of pepper half a teaspoon of pepper my secret ingredient is chili powder only a touch though you like it's just there to be like, oh, there's something delicious in there, but you don't quite know what it is. It's just a, just a little bit of chili powder. Half a teaspoon. To me, like that authentic Mexican flavor is cumin. And when I'm building something, I always smell the spices as I'm going in, because then you want to know how powerful is that spice, how much to add. It helps with all that. I'll do a teaspoon for sure of some cumin. Coriander, cumin's cousin actually. Cumin is cilantro and coriander is the seed. Always be careful with coriander, it's kind of a bitter, so you always use like just a teeny bit, so um, about a quarter teaspoon. We're gonna put in half a lemon. I might add a little more, we'll see. Good, and if you don't have Fresh lemon, you can always get the bottles kind. Damn, look at all that guac! Ow! There's not a more beautiful sight to me <laughs> than the hugest pile of guacamole. Nice. Yeah, you can make your own plantain chips if you slice them and fry them up. They'd be like more like plantanos. But uh, we purchased ours today from Trader Joe's. Mm. They make them great, great plantain chips. Here's our final guacamole. Ah, Let's try it. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> mm. Mm. For more inspiration, and a lift in vibration, go to handlesfield.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Peace, happy eating.